Hey everyone, uh, coming at you today with another mail unboxing video. Now last video we also did a mail unboxing, but today I got another package and I really wanted to show it, so we're going to be unboxing that today here on the channel. Now this package is from Rainstorm Riddles. Now a lot of you guys might not know who she is, because uh, I think she's relatively new in the Skylanders community, at least when it comes to posting things. Uh, I don't know how long she's been actually playing Skylanders, but she's been posting things uh, relatively recently. Uh, I will uh, show you and link her Twitter right here. I'll link it in the bio as well. Don't know if she has a YouTube channel. If she does, here it is. And I will also link that in the bio. Um, anyway, she has Twitter. She reached out to me. I actually, actually, I reached out to her on Twitter. And she was uh, very nice and uh, actually sent me a few of the customs uh, that she made to show off here on the channel. Uh, and I also got a few commissioned um, to also show off that I, that I chose. So... Without further ado, I think that I'm going to open up this package right here, and we are going to uh, see uh, what I got and show off her customs. So let's do that. All right. So after clearing my desk off completely of amiibos, Legos, whatever, because I don't really know where else to put them, I need another storage system so that they don't go on my de desk, so I could actually have a clear space like this. So, but anyway, I cleared them off here. I'm going to unbox this just off camera just so you can't see the address or anything of the sorts because um, I was kind of lazy and didn't really mark it off. But anyway, um, all right, that's going in the blooper hills. Anyway, there we go. So this package is officially open. Um, let's move the scissors out of here, and we're gonna see what's in here. So, first off, I didn't know that this was here, but, um, let's check out what this is. I don't know. I'm not really sure. So this says, nothing as wholesome as Dragon Love. It has a uh, little bash and a uh, flash wing. Yeah, it's very nice. Time, uh, true, sorry, time, I'm tired. I'm just turning this light down a bit so you may be able to see it better. True love does exist. With Spitfire and his little thing. And oh, actually, look at this. I didn't even notice this until now. Oh, just, I gotta stop hitting my camera here, sorry. It's a little to and from here. It's that simple. So the little cards, the little Valentine's cards, which is super sweet of her to send me. I did not, um... So opposites attract. Oh, this is so nice. I love these. Absolutely hate each other, almost kill each other, constantly bicker and annoy each other until it dissolves into something more playful. They start to tolerate each other, work through some things, and have a few heart-to-hearts, then absolutely refuse to acknowledge any feelings for ages until finally they accept it and get together. Let me show you this up close here. It's so sweet of her to send. I love these. They're absolutely awesome. And I love the art again. The art is really well done. Love and laughter go together with Roller Brawl and Freeze Blade there. Sometimes your best match is someone you can just have a lot of fun with. And let me, uh, it's that simple for Bash and Flash Ring there. I think I already showed that. And then as long as you set a low enough bar for Spitfire and the Hot Streak. Anyway, rejection is a part of love. But stalking is not ca chaos. Please stop. That is funny. And then you'll find your love in your daydreams with uh, spotlight and blackout and says, and in your, and your nightmares, please don't punch them for something that you actually didn't do. And then finally we got one with splat here. Gotta love what you do. Splat takes full ownership of the world, of the words, of the works shown. Permission may or may not have been attained from all parties before the distribution of said works, so Splat will be going into the hiding for foreseeable future. Very nice of her to send these. I absolutely love them. I don't know if I'm going to use them, because honestly, I like them more as a display piece, but... <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, put those off to the side for now. Let's get into the bulk of actually what this is all about, even though I absolutely love those. That was... Really funny. Well packaged, by the way. Thank you very much for packaging these. Awesome. And actually, I'm, I know which one this is. I'm saving that one for last because I think it's probably the coolest out of the, all the ones that I ordered. But they're still, they're all still awesome. Uh, so let's check. Let's get into this with a uh, really cool one, actually. This is one of 
Uh, one, first ones that I saw and I was like, oh, I, this is really awesome. So it is a, uh, I know that this octopus actually has a name in real life. It's like a red octopus. I would say like red octopus, that's what I'll call it. It's definitely not that. But yeah, um, that, uh, it's really awesome. I love the, I love the attention to detail here. And I love that it actually has a real life kind of thing. And it's a swapper too, so let's get, we'll get to that later actually. So we're gonna put that off to the side. Grab our next one out from here. And I'm gonna save that one for second to last actually. I don't, I don't really care about an order, but I will put those two in the last two just because they kind of have some meaning. Anyway, we have a really awesome one here. I'm trying to find a place to put all the trash, but we'll just move it over when I get more space, put it back in the box. We have a sea urchin popthorn here, this is really cool. Um, so we we're thinking of some ideas for some customs here, because I uh, did commission a few, and this is one of them. Um, I really like the idea of like a sea urchin popthorn. I think it's really cool, and it looks awesome, to be honest. So we'll put that off to the side. Grab our next one, which I can already see. Probably the biggest one that I got. All right, we have Thunderbolt here next. Uh, it's, I'd call it like a Hurricane Thunderbolt or Thunderstorm Thunderbolt. Uh, it's just uh, dark clouds and whatnot. Uh, and this is a really cool custom here. I love just honestly the simplicity of this, but also I don't even know if my camera can pick it up, but there's like certain shading on the character here that um, really just, uh, just great detail, honestly. Reminds me of the one Mario Kart track with the uh, with the thundering clouds. It's pretty cool. I like it a lot. All right, then on to this last one before we get to the last two. We got a uh, Blizzard Chill Custom. I don't know what to call this one, but um, I think it's so awesome. I saw it and I was like, this is just a super cool custom here. You got um, a really nice like look here with the spear with the, with the like just like flow of colors here, like the hot, warm colors. And then the purple um, body armor with like, I don't even know if you can see it, like the little polka dots there. And honestly, it just looks really cool here. No actual uh, customization on the on the face of Chill, which is exactly what I wanted for this. I didn't want anything um, there, just because I think it looks makes it look really cool. She just has different like armor on. But it's just the normal chill, um, which is super cool. It's like a shiny chill, like a Pokemon. But this is really cool. I love, again, I love like the few, uh, the different like flow of the colors, like how it just flows. And just the color combo here is 10 out of 10. Honestly, probably the best uh, combo. Maybe, maybe this has a bit of a rivalry here, but these two are really great. Um, anyway, so let's get on to this. So it's no surprise when I decided to commission one that of course I wanted to pick Cobra Cadaver, my favorite Skylander as one of them. And she came up with a jungle Cobra Cadaver. She surprised me with this one because I did not want to know. And it looks really good. It looks like, uh, I'm blanking on the actual name of the type of snake, but the green snake, I think it's a, uh, Scott, I'm really, I'm really not good with my animals here today. The first wash buckler now this. Uh, with the snake, but I don't know. Uh, she painted the, I don't, did she paint it? I think she did. Knowing her, she definitely did. Know, knowing her, she's painting, painting everything on this just because of the detail of that great, but she painted the magic icon onto the thing, I believe. If not, maybe I'm just completely wrong. Uh, she added a little poison there to the uh, tip of the thing, which is a great detail. I think that was intentional at least. If not, I love it, <laughs> it looks great. Anyway, just the just like the detail again, the detail on all of these is just so incredible. Um, yeah, looks awesome. And finally, my probably my favorite one that she's done. Uh, such a, such a great job already, I can tell, and it's even it's in an extra thick coat of wrapping here. Uh, definitely my favorite that she did. SCL Matt is not going to be very happy with this. I don't know if he's watching this video, but maybe he is. Who knows? I mean, as soon as I get out of the wrapping here, here we go. Uh, and let me actually clear all this wrapping out. All right, there we go. There's nothing else in that package, right? Yeah, I think I'm all good. So, just move this right here. I, I don't know, I'll put, I'm, I'll put it right back up here. I don't have much space, actually. Got like Lego hair over there. Anyway, we have, a fireworks firecracking. This is 
so detailed, so incredible. And it looks uh, really all like I don't really know what to say here. I've been saying they all look really great, really awesome. And I'm gonna show you guys what this thing, this custom does really awesome, really cool right now. All right, I lied. Um, go check out their Twitter. See what this thing does when you get access to a black light. I tried to turn all my lights off in the room, and it, of course it did nothing. This glows in the dark slash glows in the black light. Um, it did not work in my dark. I don't know. Was it intentional or not? I think it's just for the black light though, which I do not have right now, so I can't show that off to you. Anyway, Fireworks Firecracking is so awesome. I love all these customs. I'm gonna do a quick little montage of just close-ups. If I can, I think I've already gotten decent close-ups, but we'll just get it again for anyone there who wants it. And yeah, finally, one last thing here, which I totally forgot to mention, um, is that I have two swappers here. So, if I wanted to, I can get a fireworks fire kraken red, fireworks fire red octopus buckler and a red octopus w wash fire kraken, fireworks kraken, yeah, I'm exhausted. Just sorry. I cannot I cannot even think of this. But anyway, this is awesome. We'll absolutely love this. Gonna be swapping these guys a lot. Playing with them in swap force. Absolutely. Um anyway, yeah, let's outro this video. So yes, of course, I wanna say a big thank you one last time to Rainstorm Riddles for all of this. Uh this is awesome. This is the first time I've actually gotten something to show off on my channel here um maybe not the maybe the last i don't know but thank you so much from the bottom of my heart um this means a lot um and uh, this is a really great video to make i hope you guys all enjoyed it uh, again one more time rainstorm riddles you are awesome thank you so much means an absolute world to me these are awesome i'm gonna uh keep these in my collection as uh display pieces for forever because that's what skyland is about just keeping plastic toys forever you already know anyway I'll see you guys in the next video, and uh, yeah, peace out.